Now, where do you where do you mix the uh, materials for CamGuard? Right here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We get all the chemicals shipped to us here. We we mix it. We do our secret secret witchcraft over it right here in Tulsa, <laughs> and it's blended right here in this in this barrel and uh, bottled up right next to you and, and and shipped out to all you guys. How's it going, folks? We've got uh, Eric and Matthew here at Aircraft Specialties, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and we're going to talk about CamGuard a little bit. Kind of a kind of a sneak peek for uh, for me, anyway. I haven't uh, I haven't been around CamGuard. I got to tell you guys honestly, I'm not sure what it is. So why don't you why don't you guys tell us? And I'm going to sure. I'm going to put you. Sure. Yeah. So so CamGuard, we're we're right here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, right next to our, our Aircraft Specialties facility. Yeah. And CamGuard is is actually something that came out of the shop a little bit. It was created by a gentleman named Ed Collins. Uh, he's, he lives out east and, and he created the, the product. What we were seeing was coming back into aircraft, especially as we were seeing early, early death of camshafts, of, 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 of uh, lifters. Mm -hmm. And so we started looking into it. A lot of it came back to corrosion and uh, things that were caused by oil in the engine. Um, so we, got, we started researching it. Greg, the owner of the company, was real concerned about this because people are sending their stuff back and say, why did it die so quick? Mm -hmm. And uh, came across Ed at an air show, and Ed was selling this product, and, and uh, Greg did some testing with it. They did some testing in not just any airplane, but an aerobatic airplane. Okay. Uh, and, and they found that it was curing all the problems that they were concerned about. So he decided to buy the product with Ed, and, and they, they made it into CamGuard. So CamGuard was built buy a machine shop to try to address some corrosion issues. Okay, because I know, uh, again, like homings are, um, I'm going to switch over here. Sure. Uh, like homings are notorious because the camshaft is up high. So it's kind of, I always think of it as a terrarium. You know, it's up at the yeah. top where all the moisture is and all that. Right. And then if you get micro pitting in the, in the cam face, it's going to just start breaking down like nobody's business. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's uh, right. So which is very bad. Um, so this this definitely helps us. Continental's not so much a problem, but still an issue for an engine that's sitting. Right. Any any engine that's going to sit yeah. for very long, you know, we, you have somebody call and say, you know, I've got this engine. It's only got 200 hours on it. Well, how old is it? Well, it's it's 17 years old. <laughs> okay. Well, you didn't fly your engine enough, yeah. and the oil didn't move around enough, and corrosion happened. Uh, yeah. You know, we keep our, our our classic cars in an air conditioned building, and we. We try to keep all the, the humidity right, but then people don't really think about what's happening on the inside of your engine. When you run it for just a couple minutes every now and then, well, if you don't run it long enough to get moisture out of the oil, you're actually causing condensation uh, yeah. on the inside of the engine. Yeah, because you're going to have moisture, so, you're going to have acids, all that stuff. Sure, yeah, yeah. So what Camgard does is it addresses four main issues in the aviation product. It addresses corrosion, mm -hmm. obviously, rust and corrosion that, that forms on the engine as it sits. It addresses uh, the byproduct of combustion is a is a sludging effect that happens inside the engine, and it it addresses that. Some of the engines, when you tear them down, you'll see a varnishing on the inside. Well, that varnish is a is a, a polymer that that's a byproduct of, of combustion. Starts off as a monomer, combines the polymer, turns into a varnish, and this breaks up that that cycle. Um, it also addresses seal degradation. So if you have seals on an engine that start to weep, well, this this addresses that. It doesn't fix something once it's already happened. Uh, it doesn't fix anything in your engine either. But it'll keep the nitrobuna type products from degrading. That's right. Yeah, it'll protect them. It won't. We're not going to say it's going to protect them forever, but it'll help reduce the the rate at which it does okay. that. And then the the last the last product here that it does is, is uh, uh, reduces cam and lifter wear. So it's a a uh, wear wear protectant. Wear protectant. Okay. So uh, in our in our automotive and our HD products, we have a a friction inhibitor that'll help increase fuel. Yeah, numbers. and that's something that's something that was I was unaware of is that you've got uh, diesel. Automotive and marine products. That's right. We also have a small engine, but it's not as it's not as popular. It was something that what we found was after a while of doing this, we had people coming to the air shows and saying, "Well, I use this in my lawnmower. Or I use this in my Corvette." Yeah, exactly. And, uh, sure. And so we, we started making it other products because there's different environments and different engines, different byproducts that we need to capture, different different things that are happening in that engine that we need to have that mm -hmm. we need to fix. Mm -hmm. So. Ed is Ed knows all about that. He was one of the, the chief chemists at, at Exxon Mobil. He he knows about that stuff. So so he creates different products for different. Excellent. Engines. And it all it all comes <laughs> out of this room basically, right? Yeah, everything. Yeah. So it's it's a it's right next to our facility. We do all the, the blending and bottling here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's done by just a couple of guys, and it uh, 
it's right here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We know that, know that it's shipped from overseas. It's, it's made right here. And, and Again, it's, it's, uh, we talked to Edgar earlier. It's available through any uh, your, your, uh, That's right. your uh, call them up, call you guys up, and, uh, and it's for sale. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you, you can order it online at our website at aslcamgar.com. You can buy it from Spruce. Uh, here at Aircraft Specialties on our website, we have lots of re re resellers. Yeah. Uh, it's also available on Amazon. Okay, so. cool. And we're down, we're down to Fort Worth. We've got Aero Performance, the Irwin family. That's right. So yeah. I'm sure it's it's all through. Yeah, it's yeah, all through. It's available through them as well. Mobile and what? So what size is this cam guard? Because if I've got a fleet of vehicles or aircraft, what um, what sizes can I get it in? Can I get a bulk or? Right, you can get the 16 ounce bottle, which it'll treat 10 quarts. It's 1.6 ounces per quart. Okay. So it'll treat up to 10 quarts with the 16 ounce. We also sell it in gallon jugs for the Warbird guys for the for the, yeah, for the they use a lot of more. They, they, they do. Yeah, yeah, that's our that's our primary sell in the gallon size. And it's interesting too for the Warbird guys. They're running typically um, cam rings and roller cams, so it's yep. it's a different kind of product. Right. But they don't see a lot of they don't they're not a very active engine a lot of times. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They don't fly as often, but we are we are we have seen a lot of uptick in sales with the T6 guys with a lot of the big the big radials. Okay. Cool. Uh, across the country, it's been been pretty popular. So. Okay. Excellent. CamGuard. Okay, so that's CamGuard, Aircraft Specialties, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Eric and Matthew, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank All you. Right, thank you. Okay. Hang on, rats out. <laughs>